if you are looking to generate code from your simulink model or from your simulation then this is the right place for you here in this canvas first we'll prepare a simple model file and then we'll convert that simulation model into the c code and that is a very simple process so first of all let's start with preparing a simple model and for that let me bring a constant block and then i am going to bring sine wave right so i have one constant block one sine wave and then i'll bring one relational operator so this is our relational operator and then we want scope so these are the things that we want basically what we are going to do we are going to compare these two things and we'll see the resulting scope and then we are going to generate code for this so you can simply imagine that you have one logic and using that logic you are going to generate some signal so this is your simulation and the same thing you want to write as a c code to program your controller right so the same thing you can transfer it to your controller the same c code which we are going to generate through this that you can really directly implement into that controller so let's set the parameter it's one that is fine amplitude let's make it two right and we'll take one more relational operator constant block and sine wave but here instead one will make it minus one one tip i'm going to give you that in scope if you want to add second signal you can directly bring it to the scope and it will automatically make another terminal for the signal number two okay so our simulation is almost ready let's save this file and we'll name it as code generation let's observe it it is not looking appropriate the way we want okay i got it i got it and the problem is with this frequency right let's make it seven radian per second And now that's fine it's looking both the signals that we are getting right one and two so now this much is fine okay so now we are going to generate the code what i'm going to do i'm not going to do any setting so without doing any setting we'll directly jump into the generating the code and then we'll have some error and then step by step we'll solve that error and, and then we'll reach to our final code so first you need to go to the configuration parameters in that you need to go to code generation here there are varieties of system that you can select right by default it is grt.tlc we will keep it as it is we will not make a single change right and then matlab by default it will suggest us that instead of this system target you should go to something else and then we'll go to report create code generation report commands symbols codes and interface we'll keep it as it is okay and then we'll press control b and then the diagnostic viewer it shows us some error and what is that first is you may configure the solver option for fixed step solver with an appropriate integration algorithm so we'll open it so that that's what i'm talking about right this type of error it will show when we have not set our initial parameters so instead of this variable steps we need to make it a fixed step and here we need to define any appropriate solver what i'm going to take is this ode4 range kutta method solver so the first issue is solved and then it shows select a target that supports a variable step solver such as rsim.tlc so instead of that uh, by default grt.tlc what we supposed to do is we'll go and select rsim.tlc so here it is rsim.tlc okay that's fine and then you can use embedded code quick start 
so we'll open it this is embedded code quick start you can use this app from the app store of this matlab but we are using it from here so our system model that's fine let's jump to next which code we want c c plus plus or anything else so we want c code the next is deployment these are the analysis of our code the analysis is complete these are the basic detail of our system and here you need to select execution for efficiency or ram efficiency generally for small system execution for efficiency that's fine and here these are the different files that it will generate next and the system is working to generate the code right it will take some time to generate the code and here we go code generation is complete view code generation report so here we'll jump to the code generation report so this is our report these are the basic information of our generated code system report code interface report these are the different things what we are interested in it is main file it is ert underscore main c this is our main c file this is our code this code you can use directly into your controller so just copy this code and paste it in your controller and you can use the logic directly so that's it from this video if you want to learn more about matlab then you can visit our matlab tutorial playlist and learn so many different things about matlab have a nice day